Good day, friends, and welcome back to the channel today. Now, what are viruses? What, what makes it difficult for us to classify viruses as either living or non-living things? Where exactly do we put viruses? These are questions that are asked by students in the bid to understand what viruses are and what they do. We're going to discuss this afternoon about viruses very quickly. What are viruses? Viruses are entities. We call them acellular entities. They are called acellular entities because they don't carry out all the characteristics of living things. Now, they are able to reproduce in living things, but outside the living cell, the virus is practically powerless. It practically doesn't show any characteristics of life. And this makes it difficult for viruses to be classified. It makes it difficult for scientists to understand viruses. Now, the study of viruses is virology. And over the years, great um, um, progress has been made in understanding viruses and virology. So viruses are simple acellular entities. We don't refer to viruses as cells because they are not living cells, but they are able to cause infection. Many of them are pathogenic in nature. And so we refer to them as acellular entities. Now, a complete virus, um, a complete viral particle or a virus can either have a DNA molecule or an RNA molecule. But no virus has both. That is both uh, DNA and RNA at the same time. No. So the virus can either be a DNA virus or an RNA virus. It's quite important to know this. Now, viruses, some viruses have additional layer in their structure. They have an additional layer. Now, when you talk about the structure of the virus, what does the structure of the virus look like? The structure of the virus is that the virus has a nucleic acid, that's either the RNA or the DNA, surrounded by a protein coat. The protein coat is called a capsid. And then you have the nucleic acid in the middle of the protein coat. Now, some viruses have what we call an envelope. Thus, they have another outer layer, a structure that contains lipids, carbohydrates, and some proteins. And this structure is called an envelope. So viruses that have this kind of structure, we refer to them as enveloped viruses. And the viruses that do not have that kind of structure, we say they are not enveloped viruses, or we say they are naked viruses. So it's also important to note that a problem that viruses have is that viruses, viruses can be, have both living and non-living characteristics. Now, viruses are able to infect plants. They're also able to infect animals. They're also able to infect humans. So this is important for us to know. Now, like I said earlier, viruses, they grow within living cells. But when they're outside the living cell, they do not show any characteristic of life. And this is what makes it possible for us to cultivate viruses. Now, in the laboratory, the cultivation of viruses is such that viruses are cultivated within living cells. We'll do further videos to discuss a lot more about viruses and their cultivation. But the cultivation of viruses occurs within living cells. And this is different from what you have in the bacteria. You know the bacteria are cultured on media, substances we call uh, media, like our algae or our, uh, no, sorry, our agar or our broth. And so this is important to know that, but for the viruses, the viruses must be cultivated in living cells. Viruses do not have any cytoplasm and they do not have cell organelles. They do not have any kind of cell organelles. They do not engage in any form of metabolism. And then we continue to refer to them as um, particles. We continue to refer to them as particles. Lastly, on this discourse about viruses, we like to say that the capsid, which is the outer coat, the protein coat of viruses, can come in many shapes, in many different shapes. One, it could come in the shape or in a, in a helical shape, that is, it could be helical in the shape, the shape could be complex, what we refer to as the shape have, having complex symmetry, or it could be icosahedral. An icosahedral is like the, the capsid has about um, 20 triangles together and 12 faces. That's what you have, what you call an icosahedral shape. So this is what the viruses look like. Examples of our viruses are many, many. We have influenza virus, we have HIV virus, we have Marburg, Marburg virus, Lassa fever virus, so rabies virus, so many viruses that affect plants, animals, and humans. Thank you for listening to this um, 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 class. Please remember to share and like our content. Have a good day.